Hi, I'm Jeremiah and welcome to my workshop. On this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this Steadicam dolly sled for a film production. Check it out. So my contact, friend of mine who I went to film school with, is working on a big Hollywood production and he and his grip brothers asked if I could make a Steadicam dolly sled and they sent me some reference photos for the kind of sled that they would want and so I kind of took a bunch of ideas, put them together, and I worked on the model in Fusion 360. Once we were both happy with the design in Fusion 360, they said, go for it. So I ordered the metal and I got started. My client provided this plate right here, which is actually called a cheese plate. And it's just an aluminum plate with a bunch of holes drilled in it. And they wanted me to build this custom dolly sled for this cheese plate specifically. So that's what I did. The dolly sled needs to be very heavy to keep its stability. So, uh, in talking to the client, we decided to go with 5 8 inch thick steel plate, <laughs> which is super heavy. Uh, when I went to the steel yard, they had to have a crane to lift and lower it into the back of my Honda Accord, um, which was also a trick getting it home. I think it may be time to get a pickup truck soon. I'm excited to get going and cutting it to smaller pieces so it's uh, easier to manage. I have all of my five inch wide pieces cut. The next step is to start cutting my three and a half inch wide, which I am going to do now. Finished grinding all the mill scale off of every piece to this dolly. I'm exhausted and I'm messy. There's grinding dust everywhere. And I'm talking like all the way over there, all the way there, like on my desk. I've got all the parts cleaned up, all the mill scale's gone. And the next thing I wanna do is I just wanna square up the edges. <laughs> um, probably overkill, but I'm a machinist. I've got a mill, it's pretty easy to just run a end mill across these edges just to make sure everything is square. So that's what I'm gonna do next. The dolly calls for four cross pieces and I wanna make sure that they're exactly the same so that it's you know, perfectly square. And uh, because I'm a little bit anal and because I am a machinist, I decided to take the uh, legs and I'm evening them up. So here's the uh, shortest one and then I'm just taking an end mill and uh, making sure that they're all exactly the same size. And that should make getting it square a little bit easier. I love that I can be super precise even in a welding project. <laughs> The next step is to drill some holes to allow for the wheels to mount. I have uh, rotating wheels and I have fixed wheels. For the shorter pieces, I've got um, these fixed wheels and they'll sit like so. And for the longer pieces, I've got these rotating wheels. I had to make them longer so that they could clear the support All right, 25 holes to drill, and uh, gonna use my bridge port, and that should make it pretty easy. Gonna get started on that. 
The final step is to do a countersink for a bolt like that. So that'll work. All right. Thing of you. So it's nice and flush. One hole drilled, 24 more to go. This is the idea of how it will work together. I've got these heads countersunk so that we have a flat space here and then there's a stud that will come up and a, a pole will get attached to there. So I had to countersink on the underside so that that would sit flush right like that. So, so far so good. That, uh, it's one wheel attachment done, four more to go which means a lot more drilling. but at least I am just kind of getting it laid out, making sure everything looks good. Before I weld the base frame, I wanted to line it up with the cheese plate here. I need to mark the holes where these countersunk holes are. So I've got these machinist jacks that I'm going to put under here and just unscrew it just to give it some rigidity for some of these holes that I'm drilling out here. I love it when a tool I made is actually getting used. I made these in trade school. That was awesome. I'm gonna carefully pull the cheese plate off and make sure I don't bump it. And then I'll tack all the corners, check the cheese plate against it again to make sure nothing shifted. Once I know that's good, then I'll weld it up. I think that's the best way to handle this problem, but uh, I'm sure, I hope it is. <laughs> all right, and I'm ready to weld. Got my MIG welder set up, ready to go. Did a couple of practice welds. Here I am, set and ready. So the question is, if I flip this over to tack the welds on the back, will it stay together or will the weight break the welds that I've already done. I think it's going to be strong enough. It's going to be really annoying if it does break, because then I'll have to reline everything up. I think I'm going to tack the sides as well, just in case. toy I've got the fireball tool mega square and it is just so great to be able to square up things before I weld them like that's been one of my biggest frustrations with welding is just not being able to hold it right and keep it square 
And man, this tool, like I'm only scratching the surface of what you can do with this thing, but I'm trying, I, I need to weld where the wheels connect and I don't know how I would be able to keep this perfectly square while I weld it up if I were, you know, without this tool. I am very pleased with this thing. So yeah, check them out, Fireball Tools. All right, back to work. Little bit of an update. You'll notice my wheel assemblies are a lot thinner. And the reason for this is because as I was getting closer to attaching them, I checked in with the client and we determined that this thing is going to be a beast. It's going to be super heavy. So in order to save some weight, we decided to make the wheel assemblies thinner. And so I had to remake this <laughs> four times. Uh, so it was the same process, just with thinner metal. So that's, so I figured why I'd film it again. So now I have the, uh, difficult task of welding these guys to the frame. I think what I'm going to do is raise up the frame and clamp it to up this ladder and then weld it like that. Uh, that's the best I can figure out how to do because it is, it's just really hard to work with. So we'll see if that works. Ugh. It's like, I should get a pick up. I'm gonna do a quick test to make sure it rolls right before I go any further. So far so good. So now that I have the wheel assemblies all welded on and I've tested it out to make sure it's actually going to roll, everything looks good, uh, I've got these gussets that I'm going to weld on right here so that I make sure that I've got clearance for the rolling wheel or the, the non-fixed wheel. And then I've also got these guys for the underside that'll fit right there to give more stability. So I'm very close on this guy. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to paint. I'm gonna do primer, self-etching primer, and then I'm gonna do a paint and primer uh, flat black, and then let that dry, flip it over, and uh, do the other side. All right, let's get to it.
There it is all painted. And I know what the local bird population thinks of this thing. Got the bird poop on there. But thankfully it should clean off easily. All right, let's try it. Keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Here they come! Here they come. Woo! <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about what this is used for. It's a steady cam dolly sled, so it's meant for a steady cam operator to ride on. He can either you know, ride on it completely or he can go and maybe hop off it and go up a set of stairs. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to work in the movie business and I got to do that. I got to work in film and TV and marketing and I get to, got to produce and direct and write and edit. But never in my wildest dreams did I think that I would be able to make a piece of production equipment that would be used in movies and TV. This is just super cool. I like to think about the possibilities of just what this will be used for. What cool shots will be gotten? What classic films will this dolly sled get to work on? That's pretty cool. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I post more frequently on there. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. And we'll see this guy in the movies. I'm gonna take it down a half pipe. Nice. It works. Is it smooth? You like it? It's kind of bumpy on the pavement, but when they go over the bump, but it's smooth, but we're not going over the bump. Cool.